check out the Patreon and gain access to all the source code. Hey, welcome to this new video and new series. This time we will be working on making a whole Paragon system with the custom add-on on the client side and the server in Iluna. And those will communicate over AIO to like send data and make the system work. Let me show you how it works. So first let's go in game. And now you see I'm in game and I have the button up here for the Paragon system. So let me click it. And here we have the custom add-on. This is the add-on we will make in this video. So now you can see I have nothing. I like I don't have any increases and I don't have any upgrades, but I have 150 points. So let me increase strength. You see, I get one strength uh, add addition here and it goes up by five. Then we do the next one and it goes up by five and we do the armor or defense and another tap and it goes up by five. Now let's test out actually leveling up. So you see, I have the level here and you just kill one mob and we get a new point whilst we go up and level and you get a announcement. If you then want to reset all your talents or all your uh, paragons, you click the reset and all paragon points have been reset. And you see, we now have 151 points because we reset everything and it removes everything. So now I can log out and when we log out, it saves into our database and we have these database tables. So here we save the player with the, as you can see, it's updated. And then we have the spell in here, which and at the a max amount you can increase. And we have the levels in here. Everything here will be shown how to do, even making the spells to increase will also be shown in this series on how we make the full system work so i hope you're ready to learn some new and more advanced programming and lua coding so see you back when we get started so the first thing we are wanna, gonna do is actually make the interface files so or the add-on sorry so first thing you're gonna do is you do go down here right click oh yeah we are in the server client so our clients add-ons folder here right click new and make a new folder call this folder paragon system this is just the name i would want my file, uh, folder to be named so i will call it that in here we need three files so let's do that so first just make one text document and just open it with something like um yeah let, let me just yeah let's open it like with the normal note uh, notepad now go up here to file it's safe as s sorry here set it to all files and this one call this and this is important you the the name you gave your add-on folder you need to name this file the same and it needs to be the same otherwise the wow client won't read the add-on so here call it the same as the folder so paragon system dot toc and hit enter now you see we've got the toc file now these files you can call them whatever you would like to call them but i will call mine per always i always call them the system or the add-ons name underscore and what they are going to be used for so i will call mine paragon on system underscore core dot lua and remember to change the save as to all and hit enter and we need one more file and this file is to, for controlling the UI. So we'll call it Paragon System underscore UI and set the set it to save as all files and call it dot lua at the end. Hit save. Now 
you can close this window and now just delete this. So now we set up the client's file, uh, the client file. So let's open this one and let's just open with, yeah, let me open it in notepad. Let me drag it over. So now we are in the TOS, oh no, TOC file, sorry. And this is how you normally would make an add-on. So what you're gonna do first is write two hashtags and then uppercase I, so write interface with an uppercase I, and then colon space three zero three zero zero. This is so it it now the the client knows to read this file this interface file and the number here is to read it for Wrath of the Lich King. So next line, two hashtags again, and call it title colon and then space. And here you can give the add-on any name you want. This name is in the add-on list on character selection. You will see the name here. So let me just make mine like a color real quick. So let me get the color here. So this is the code for a color. And then I will just write Paragon System. And yeah, you can have a space in the title. Next line is, co uh, is hashtag hashtag offer. And you just call it your name or whatever you want. I will call it Cillian since that's my name online. Next line is the last line for the set setting up of the add-on. So that's hashtag hashtag version. And version 1.0. That it doesn't matter what you put it as in the version. It's just like for the users to see that, okay, it's a new version of the add-on. Now, what we want to do is we want to add in the order that our files should be loaded. So the core and the UI. Do it in the same order as I'm doing if you're following, following head to toe in this tutorial, because then you're loading everything correctly. If you are not and you experience errors by changing stuff up or moving the uh, ways we load things, then please just play around with the order of things and see if that works. But for the tutorial's sake, I'm gonna write it the way we will have it work. So parent gun system underscore core because the core has a bunch of details that the UI will need. And below you just write paragon system underscore UI dot Lua. And that's all. That now we have our own add-on file. So now it loads this. And that's basically all. So now let's head inside World of Warcraft and just test it out and see if it can see the add-on. So now we are in game. Oh, sorry, I need to start my server, so I'll do that real quick. And while we raid, I'll just let everyone know, please like and subscribe to, to this video and subscribe to the channel if you find any of my tutorials helpful. It does help a lot and shows that people are still interested in these kind of tutorials. So let's... Come on, server. Start. Yep, now it's started up. I can click login. And now you will see in the add-ons, you can see our Paragon system. So now we have the Paragon system loaded. And we see the add-on. That's basically all we needed to go in-game for. So I can just close the game now. Next, let's set up the server side of things or just the server structure of the folders and stuff. Let me open my next file or folder here. And then I'll head into the server. So you will need to go to where you have your server. So mine is, so the build version of your server where you would normally add all your Lua scripts. So go in here, 
since this is gonna have a bit more files than just one for the server, we would actually like structure the folders a bit better or the files a bit better. So make a folder here, call it Paragon System. And here it doesn't matter what the name is of the folders. It's just so you know that's what it is inside the folder. But normally I put a space, but I also do just like this normally. It's it doesn't really matter. It's just for your like for your uh, code to load it. But I would always recommend just having no space, or if you really want to split words up, put an underscore. And in here, what we want to do is just again let's make. A text document open the text document and then click file and save as here all files always remove all file and then call it paragon system and don't put a space in this because these are the files so paragon system .lua. let me just copy this so hit save now it created save again or save as again so paragon system underscore config because we will add a stuff a ton of stuff to our config file and that lua and then say all files again and again last time save as put in the same thing again so it's this paragon system and i will call this db because this will hold all our database functions and stuff and then remember again to set it to all files now close this Last thing we gotta do is we wanna go in sense or like the items, the tab items in our Paragon system uses a custom BLP file for the frame of them. So I will show you how to include those and I will also link them down in the description so you can download them. So let's first go into your client, then go into data. In here, make a patch folder. So I will always recommend making your own patch folder. So you could use the MP5, mpq file to make the files, but it also reads like normal f uh, folders as, as long as you like mpq at the end. So open your folder and in here, what you want to do, you write Aragon system just so we know what's inside this folder and hit enter to enter the folder and now we'll just drag in the files so these are the files and we will probably only be using like some of them but we still have them so we could always like use them if you want later down the line so that was everything now our client or like there is still something but that's for later ep episodes or yeah parts of the videos but this is just like the beginning so now we can actually start writing the code and then as we get to the end we still need to like make the spells that it should apply but i will also guide you through how to do that so no problem there so I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next episode.